Assalamu alaikum dear student. Welcome to the subject of Helminthology in host parasite relationship. Today we are going to start the lecture 9 and in this lecture we are going to study the nematodes, trichurus, trichura. So let's start the topic. Uh, first of all, uh, we will study the general properties of the nematodes. Nematodes are probably the most widespread animal group occurring in the world. Many of them are non-pathogenic and exist as a free-living form in fresh or marine water and soil, while few of these species can be pathogenic and they exist as a parasitic form both in plants and animals. Uh, classification uh, first let's talk about the systemic classification uh, phylum nematoda has two classes uh, adenophora and secrinata uh, which are different in many ways and uh, these differences of these two classes they are given in the table 12.1 that we will uh, discuss in the coming slides so the differences between class adenophora and saccharinita you can see here uh, the characteristics of the two classes class adenophora and class saccharinita first of all the sensory structures uh, they are called phasmids they are absent in class adenophora and they are present in class acrinitra esophagus uh, it is modified with the presence of gland cell or reserve organ they have a normal appearance in the class sacrinita uh, based on the excretory organs they are without lateral canals in class adenophora while they have lateral canals in class sacrinita caudal papillae they are absent in class adenophora while they are present in class Sacrinita, infective form to the definitive host. Yes, first stage of the larvae in case of trichinelli are the embryonated eggs form in case of trichures in class adenophora. And the third stage of the larvae is infective to the host are the embryonated egg form. In case of class security. Uh, next is the classification based on the habitat. Most of the nematodes inhabit in the intestine, while some, like filarial worms, they reside in the various tissue and uh, uh, they are given in the table 12.3. Uh, classification based on the lay eggs or larvae form. Based on the lay eggs or larvae after fertilization, nematodes can be classified into oviparous, viviparous, and oviviparous. Oviparous, most of the nematodes are oviparous. Following fertilization, the female worms produce eggs that take some time to hatch out to form larvae in the environment eggs with segmented ohm like for example hookworm and trichostrangulus species eggs with unsegmented ohm uh, like in case of ascaris species eggs with unsegmented ohm with mucus plug at both the poles present in trichurus species and capillary species eggs containing larvae that take some time to hatch out uh, like in case of enterobius species 
Next, the viviparous. A female worms directly give birth to the larvae. There is no egg stage. Uh, example are filarial worm, trichinella species, and raconilis species. The third one is oviviparous. Female worm lay eggs containing larvae that immediately hatch out. Example are strangulite species. So this is the classification of the nematode based on the habitats like we have said in the earlier slide table 12.3 so on the base on the habitat uh, some of them like intestinal nematodes some of them are reside in the somatic nematodes while animal nematodes infecting rarely to the man's so you can see uh, in the left column, intestinal hymen nematodes, like in the small intestine, Ascaris lumbricides, common roundworm. It is also called Old World hookworm. The next example is Cater Americans, also called American or New World hookworm. Uh, next intestinal region is a large intestine, Trichurus trichura, also called whipworm. Introbius, vermicularis, thread, or pinworm. So these are, uh, these should be uh, keep in mind because they are very common. Uh, in the next column, you can see somatic human nematodes, uh, filarial worms, lymphatic worms, uh, nematodes that reside in the skin region. You can see the example like in the eye. Lola Lola in the serous cavity, other human somatic nematodes are like Trichinella spiralis. Um, so you can see on the right two columns animal nematodes that infecting uh, animals and they are really infecting the humans. Visceral larvae nema uh, migrants like in the liver, central nervous system, abdomen, cutaneous larvae, migraines. You can see the various examples of these nematodes. And the next they are, for example, other animal nematodes, like some of them are zoonotic ones, that they have the capability to transmit from animal to human and from human to animals, like dirofilary intestine capillary you can see strong lights uh, conjunctiva you can see the lazy species in the liver kidney respiratory tract so these are the various uh, uh, types of the nematodes given in the table that uh, infect the humans and in the animals based on their habitat like which uh, system which part of the host they can infect. General description nematodes pass through the six developmental stages. They are given in the figure 12.1. Adult worm X stage in the four larval stage from larvae 1 to larvae 4. Each larval stage transform to the next by shedding of the cuticle, also called as molting. So these are the various stages developmental stages of the nematodes that we have just described adult form shape nematodes are elongated cylindrical or filarial form in shape with both the ends pointed they are unsegmented without any appendages size of the nematodes variable ranging from less than 5 millimeter female worm are longer than male worms in general Symmetry body is bilaterally symmetrical, they are in one plan, while head is radially symmetrical, multiple plan. Body wall made up of outer layer of tough acellular cuticle and inner layer of longitudinal muscles. Locomotion nematodes move by contraction of the longitudinal muscles. Elementary canal it is well developed and consists of mouth at the interior end, followed by muscular 
and glandular esophagus, intestine, and rectum. In some species, like in hookworm moth, bear the teeth, cutting plate. The esophagus may bear posterior bulb also in case of enterobius. The intestine or meat gut is lined by a single layer of columnar cells. Body cavity. They possess a body cavity or a pseudo seal with high hydrostatic pressure, which is filled with the body fluid secreted by intestine and genital organs. Sexes. Nematode or diasis. I mean, they are bisexuals. Uh, so let's talk about the reproductive system. First of all, male reproductive system, it consists of long convoluted tube which can be differentiated into testes, vas deferens, seminal vesicle, and ejaculatory duct. Some worms also bear accessory copulatory organs like a copulatory versa with two spicules and guberniculum. The ejaculatory duct opens subterminally at the posterior end into a common passage along with the rectum known as a cloaca. Uh, let's now talk about the female reproductive system. It consists of two or one convoluted tube. Each tube is differentiated into an ori, oviduct, seminal receptacle and uterus and then both the tube join to form a common vagina that opens outside through the vulva either in the middle of the body or near the mouth as shown in the figure 12.2. So here you can see both uh, male and female uh, reproductive system of the adult nematodes that we just described. Uh, you can see the male, uh, they have a reproductive system and in the female reproductive system. The nervous system. Uh, it is rudimentary and consists of circular nerve ring surrounding the esophagus and six longitudinal narrow trunk. The dorsal nerve is responsible for motor control while the lateral nerves are for a sensory and the ventral one combines both the function. Some species possess a sensory structure like papilla and phasmid, chemoreception organs for the cuticle, excretory system of the nematodes. Okay. Uh, the life cycle nematodes complete their life cycle in one host except in filial worms and uh, ranunculus species need two hosts life cycle pathogenesis diagnosis and transmitted and will be discussed in details in the coming lectures large intestinal nematodes Tricurus tricura. It is also called as whipworm, as the adult worm resembles to a handle of whip. 71 species of the tricurus are recorded so far. Human infection is mostly confined to the tricurus tricura and very rarely by tricurus swiss, but most of the time it is also called as pigworm or tricurus vulpis also called as dog wipe worm <laughs> habitat it resides in the large intestine of the man mainly in the cecum and appendix region um, epidemiology trichuris is, is worldwide infection and mainly in the warm and moist climate uh, the infection is high morphology adult form it is whip shaped interior three-fifth is thin hair like coiled and posterior two-fifth is short and thick the coiled interior part of contains the esophagus and it is attached to the gastrointestinal tract mucosa whereas the posterior thick part bears the genital organs and intestine and lie free in the human intestine the esophagus is glandular surrounded by a gland called as stichosome. Man is whitish, 3 to 45 mm long, and bears a coiled posterior end. Female is longer, 
around 50 millimeter, millimeter long and its posterior part is either shaped like a comma is shown in the figure 12.3 and 12.4 eggs are barrel shaped surrounded by a shell bear mucus plug at both the plant holes poles elongated having a size from 50 to 55 micrometer and they have a width of 20 to 23 micrometer unembryonated when firstly passed by stain yellowish brown in color float in saturated salt solution the life cycle of trachea trachea uh, host are if you talk about the host humans they are only host infective form embryonated eggs is the infected form of the trichurus trichura mode of the transmission man uh, usually children acquire the infection by ingestion of the contaminated food and water containing the embryonated eggs of the trichurus trichura so if you talk about the transmission egg larvae adult transmission egg hatch out in the intestine releasing the second stage of the larvae they migrate to the large intestine where they undergo further moltings to transform into adult worms adult laying unembryonated eggs within two to three months the female worms following fertilization start laying unembryonated eggs each female worm can lay up to 14,000 to 20,000 eggs per day for a period of one to three years. So, embryonations, the unembryonated eggs passed in the feces, they are not infective. It takes up to 28 days to become the unembryonated eggs to be embryonated. Embryonation occurs at a temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius in warm and moist conditions. Such embryonated eggs are infective. Pathogenicity and clinical feature of the disease. Most infected individuals have no symptoms or only have eosinophilia. They have a large number of eosinophils. Incubation period varies from 70 days to 90 days. If the people they have the heavy infection so adult female worms gets buried in the large intestine mucosa that leads to mechanical distortion leading to the inflamed edematous and febrile mucosa allergic response by the host increased number of the macrophages infiltration in the lumina purpurea that produce tumor necrosis factor alpha Common manifestations include abdominal pain, anorexia, iron deficiency, anemia due to the blood loss, recurrent rectal prolapse, growth, retardation, and impairment due to the release of anti inflammatory cytokines induced by the security molecules of trichurus species. So that was the end of the trichurus trichura. Uh, thank you very much for watching and listening and uh, we will continue the online lecture of the subject health anthology in hospital site relationship and uh, if the student have any questions they have any difficulty uh, please you are requested to submit your query to submit your questions and uh, then inshallah i will respond to you and uh, the reference book is given uh, here you can see the reference book so you can also uh, read the topic in details in this book uh, thank you very much Allah is and goodbye